Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial. So the agenda of this short video is twofold. One, introduce you all to a tool called Comic Gen, which allows uh, us to create comics. And then two, use this comics that what we've created in um, you know helping us tell stories uh, of our data. So without much delay, let's jump into the uh, exercise so this is the comic gen uh, landing page so as you can see you can create comics uh, uh, like I'm, I'm selecting uh, a comic character named D and I can select the angle I can select the emotion uh, and change them all riding bicycle uh, all these stuff and then once i'm happy with what i've created i can just copy this i mean i can i can download the uh, image as such or copy the url to the image right and uh, uh, also we, we've also got a speech bubble here so with this uh, if uh, uh, we can we can uh, so you know what the speech bubble is right i mean when, when you want when you want to have conversations in the comic uh, we do add speech text and then you can fine tune every aspect of it like the uh, uh, the pointer uh, direction the, uh, the the padding the, the fill color the line height the, uh, well, the 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 font font size and everything and same 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 as we did with the comic character we can either download the speech paper as such or copy a link to this so uh once we know this what we're going to do is that uh, use these characters and speech bubbles to tell a story around our data right so uh, if you guys remember this is uh one of the data sets that we i mean results from the data one of the data sets that we had used earlier for clustering so let's try to use comic gen and uh, and like we discussed during the clustering exercise, the most important aspect of any clustering exercise is how you tell stories around the clusters that you've just made, whether it be k-means or some other more involved algorithms. So finally, the the your manager or, or the business is interested in only um, what stories you can tell out of each cluster, right? So Comic Gen uh, is useful in that. Uh, that it, it helps us tell these stories in a more uh, sticky fashion i mean uh, or, or more appealing fashion right so uh, for instance uh, look at this i've just created a i mean i'm not a storyteller so uh, i'm sure you're all, you guys are all uh, much more creative and artistic than i am so this is just a basic skeleton layout that i'm putting it out here you can build it on, build up on it, and uh, make it more interesting, visually, uh, visually appealing, and stuff. But this is just uh, a bare bones illustration of what can be done, right? So there is this guy who's uh, reading the newspaper and asking a friend if she could help him decide on what stocks to buy or what stocks to sell based on some data that he's got. So she says yes. Okay, he's going to run some cluster analysis. Uh, and uh, she says she'll get back to him and she says thank you she comes back with a seven cluster solution and that is where the fun begins so uh, cluster zero uh, and she's now going to explain him uh, how what the different clusters are well, cluster zero has got as a high EPS of just earnings per share low market cap uh, primarily low stock return uh, he's not very happy Cluster 2 has basically stocks uh, uh, with a very high stock return. So he's very happy, he's excited uh, and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, okay, this, so I, I wanted to highlight this as a green cluster. I mean, it's a go-to cluster, but so I've, I've said this is a, uh, you know, stay away from cluster because it's a very low stock return. Uh, I wanted a green emoji here. I prepared this on another computer and I'm, I'm recording this from another computer. For some reason, this computer doesn't uh, uh, recognize this 
green dot emoji. So um, um, excuse me about that. Okay, now so basically, how did I do all this? I mean, all these are static. I mean, I've just like I said earlier, I've created a comic, I've created a speech bubble uh, here, and then basically copy pasted the comics or speech bubbles. Uh -huh. Um, one second, uh, yeah, speech bubbles uh, URL, and I've just pasted it here as an image. All right, so if I say, uh, so if I just copy this guy here, um, equal to image. And quotes, I should get that. Oops, uh, what wrong? Oh, 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 image. Come on, yeah, get that right. Uh, so delete, okay. So this is pretty static, but here all I've written is an if else condition. So if this guy is zero. I fetch my image from somewhere, I mean, uh, the, the speech bubble URL from somewhere. If this is one, I fetch it from somewhere else. So if you had noticed, I have a dictionary here, a, a, a mapper here. So depending on, so I've got uh, seven rows here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven clusters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for each cluster, I have uh, hard coded uh text and the pose and emotion of the my comic character i fixed the comic character's name to uh some day or something and but i can i can make the pose and emotion uh, dynamic based on which cluster i select similarly the text based on which cluster i select so if i have something like this uh, sorted out so all these are not my creations it's basically I mean, you should make sure that comic gen supports these. So you can basically uh, copy paste the uh, emotions or pose from here to here. And to get the character URL, you're basically doing uh, uh, um, basically fetching the pose and emotion from these cells like this. So this is my character URL. So I'll just, uh, it'll have a, a the some string value here so i change that and put the cell value there similarly for the speech bubble i do the same thing and replace the text part with the cell i mean the string that is there in the cell and you also make sure that you have to uh, use a url encoder for this to work right and so that's it here so depending on what cluster I select, I, I, I get a corresponding uh, speech bubble and a character URL. Fair enough. But can you do more? So if you notice, uh, this is dynamic in the sense that if I change which cluster I want a comic for, these guys change. But if I change a number here, for instance, uh, I've hard coded cluster one to be, um, uh, okay, let's say cluster six is a worrying cluster because I've got a very uh, low um, strong return, right? But then if I go and make it very high now, this guy's not gonna change. So the story changed, but definitions and I know the comic doesn't change. So it isn't that great value but then from this what you've learned is that you, you know you see you've got this tool called comic gen you can create comics there around your data and present it in a nice uh, interesting visually appealing fashion you can do much better here than what i've done here so to make it more dynamic as in if i change a number here in the table my comic should change for that what i've done is basically create a more elaborate portion of my dictionary that you saw here. So a very simple hard-coded dictionary. So my dictionary is now going to be much more elaborate. So I'm saying, okay. Um, so I have, first 
mapping which says which identifies uh, so I take price I take price and give it a high low median depending on the quartile on, of the various other prices that I have first I think um, I'm hard coded it as if it's greater than the um, third quarter it's going to be high if it's less than the first quarter it's going to be low and if it's uh, somewhere in the middle it's it's medium similarly I've given different de uh, definitions for each of the values in the table I uh, then now I have to uh, put it in a more human appropriate language like low price or, or, or a high EPS and if you notice I'm only interested in lows and highs nothing medium medium is not interesting low is interesting high is interesting medium is okay I mean neutral nobody cares so and then I'm giving a sentence full sentence that appears in my speech bubble right uh, basically concatenating um, stuff for each cluster I'm also giving a rather a green bulb like I said the green bubbles for some reason is not for, working for me but the red bulb depending on um, on, on, on if my C28, C28 is this guy, price, or sorry, stock return. Depending on stock return, I'm giving a rubber green bulb here. And finally, uh, adding up everything to my text here, right? And I, I, I convert this guy to a you know, positive URL encoder and uh, give it to my speech bubble. Uh, if you notice, I'm also doing some funny thing here that the width of a speech bubble I'm, I'm taking it from this because if there are a lot of uh, entities here I need the width to be a little higher if with this like very few entities I want to be much lower and uh, because as I said there's going to be a lot of white space and that is also not hard coded it depends on how many white spaces I have in this table right uh, so i'm just used to some basic intelligence i'm sure you all can do much better stuff in excel but just to show what is so everything is dynamic even these numbers are dynamic right similarly i get uh entries for my pose and emotion right and then hardcore uh, i mean uh, take the pose and emotion values for my url from these boxes now if you notice these come from one of these tables up here which in turn comes from the data. So if I change something here, this changes and everything downstream changes. So let's see how it works or if it works. Uh, so I have put uh, cluster zero here. It says this group has 27 companies and its main features are low price, blah, blah, blah. So if I say cluster four is, okay, it looks happy, it changed text. Yeah, so it's a green belt here, which does not appear as a green belt high stock return and stuff so uh, there's also this fun thing i did here uh, so um, i didn't want every text to begin like this cluster has to do seven companies this cluster has to do seven companies this i just created three startings like this cluster has this group has this is a group of and then uh, used uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah i'm just taking the beginning of a sentence to be randomly picked from uh, one of these three uh, beginnings so if you notice i think it should work uh, let's go there so this it says this group has right so now if i say uh, this cluster has now five this group has so it, it, it's some sort of uh, non monotonic stuff right uh, yeah so finally we should be checking for 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 what happens if I put 7 does it work no because we are cluster number between 0 and 6 okay so I say all oh, 6 mm, you're not so happy loss making so now if I go and make this this stock return uh like 100 let's see what oh you see there's nothing special about this cluster okay i'm gonna make it thousand 
uh, oh. the stock return is thousand da, 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 da. ten thousand ah high stock return so it depends on how everything is scored but you see right i mean this takes values from this table if i mess up with this and this will change everything so Bas the basic idea is, you know, if, you want, if we had to put this on a website and, and the data was changing dynamically, you can code something like this and under the hood will be the data, but what you're giving a viewers to the website or your higher-ups in your organization is a nice comic. Uh, so it needn't be always comics. It can be line charts, bar charts, whatever, which is dynamic depending on the data under the hood. So... Uh, uh, that that that's all about this tutorial. So I mean, um, Comic Gen. That's a that's a very nice tool out there. You can create fun stuff and uh, basically have fun with the data. Good luck. Bye.